Along the Mississippi River in the Twin Cities is a small township with a lot of history and even some hauntings. Gray Cloud Island is actually its own community. Only a couple hundred people live there, but some of their land could be taken away. A mining company wants to annex part of the land to nearby Cottage Grove. And those who live in Gray Cloud Island are not happy about it. Bab Santos joins us now to explain this fight over the township's future. Yeah, well, many people are against this in town, and they'll have a chance to speak out about it at a public hearing in April. This is completely unexpected. We have worked in uh, good faith with Wholesome every year. Great Cloud Island Township officials are scrambling this spring after receiving this petition for annexation from Holcomb, a mining company in the area oh, there it goes. that's pushing to have about 120 acres of its land annexed to neighboring Cottage Grove. It would be the demise of Great Cloud Island as a history that's been a township since, since the 50s. Town Board Supervisor Dan Oman says almost all of his small town is united against the idea. We have 120 houses, we have uh, 100, 100 residents that are on a petition that don't want this stuff. Holcomb's petition gives several reasons for annexation, claiming the township form of government is not adequate because of a shortage of staff and resources. In all the years that I've served in the history of our township, we have not had any complaints from Wholesome for uh, lack of services. Ullman says what this really comes down to is much more simple. Agreed thing with the corporation. He claims the township has pushed for the rock quarry to be a better neighbor for homeowners nearby and a better steward of this beautiful Washington County habitat. We're not willing to rezone, redo things until you're willing to work with us. But instead, Ullman believes the mining company is attempting to sidestep to a looser set of rules in Cottage Grove, and that move could have large financial consequences for the small township even more. Ullman fears annexation won't stop here, and this is only the beginning of plans to annex all 500-plus acres of Holcomb's land in the township piece by piece. And that would lead us into you know, not being able to make ends meet as a township, and they would, they would govern over half our community, so it wouldn't make a lot of sense. Now, in a statement tonight, Wholesome said in part, Cottage Grove has the required resources and expertise to handle the complex permitting and environmental regulations applicable to mining operations. We seek a progressive partner that values the vital role that high-quality construction aggregates play in the continued development of the Twin Cities. Tonight, we reached out to Cottage Grove's mayor and city administrator to see where they stand, but we didn't hear back. Back to you. All right, Babs, thank you.